2022 of this old Greece 40th annual international convention and we're very happy to have here with us uh, Dorothy. Thank you very much uh, for being here oh, and for an inspiring plenary I have to say. So we would like you to tell us what was the inspiration for your talk. I mean, for this talk, um, also as I mentioned in the, in the introduction, is I, I, I go walking every day. Mm -hmm. I have something that counts my steps to make sure that I get Me enough too. exercise. Okay. So I was with my walking partner and she was and she was get one. She was talking about a graduate class that she was taking about metaphor. And I thought, what a fascinating topic. And she really loved her textbook and then she loaned me her textbook and I was reading it and it and it it turned out that one of the co authors of the book worked at the university that's very where I used to teach, that's very close to my house. So I just went down to the university and I went to his office hours and I said, Can we we talk about metaphor. Mm -hmm. And wow. being a teacher, I'm thinking specifically, what role does metaphor play in teaching? And he said, oh, very interesting, because of course he's a teacher. A lot of teachers use the same metaphors about growing and nurturing of plants and, and gardening, and there were other construction, building a house yes. and scaffolding and making a firm foundation. And he said there are certain metaphors that all kinds of teachers, even in other languages, use to talk about teaching. And so I began thinking, well, what would, what would I use as a metaphor, because I'm not really a, a gardener or, or a house builder. And I remembered this college music professor I had who used to always use language as a metaphor for music. That you know, we communicate with music and music speaks yes. to us and, and we pour, you know, we express ourselves through music. And so I thought, I wonder, so if you can use language as a metaphor for music. What about can you use what music as a metaphor for language? Can we go the other way? And so I, I sort of sat down actually with, with, with pen and paper and just began taking notes on my thoughts. What, what is everything I think about music and impressions I have from performing it and from studying it and just understanding it? And how do those connect with teaching and learning language? And I stepped away thinking, oh, I actually did realize some things about teaching and learning. That thinking of them metaphorically helped me articulate and form and express those thoughts. So I thought, that's very useful. Excellent. And then I just wanted to share that idea. And the plenary, I mean, music is my metaphor. And then, of course, the conclusion of the talk is you should find your metaphor. But it's a useful, it is, yes. it's a useful exercise. And actually, as I was leaving, one woman said, I've already begun thinking about how sewing is like, I was like, yes. <laughs> and, once, wow. and once you start, then it just, it just, it's hard to stop. Of course, it's a language, but of course you can uh, think about it in many different ways. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's like when you look at the eclipse or the sun, you can't look at it directly. You look at it through a filter or a lens. And then you see it more clearly. Yes. So and that's and that's how metaphor Different works. perspectives. And I also especially like what you said about how everyone, uh, every once in a while, we can step back and think of uh, the wonder of language that you teach. And right. I mean that. I, a lot of us tend to teach the same levels mm -hmm. again and again, so the language becomes very familiar yes. to you. And when you do something over and over again, I think it can feel less special. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I was inviting teachers to just sort of step back and think, wow, this language is actually very beautiful. Yes. And it's expressing something very human, and we use it to connect with, with people. And I think we're very lucky that we have a subject to teach that's so immediate. Right? The algebra teacher is teaching for the future in case you become an engineer. But what we give students, they can use immediately now and it has it has meaning it right is. right and that's a very special thing and we should we should appreciate that <laughs> as we appreciated your talk and we would <laughs> exactly. like to have your feedback basically about your impressions yes your impressions right? oh, of oh yeah yeah wonderful conference i i love i love that first of all that the plenaries are not against anything else so everybody comes together and they have these shared experiences and we heard mm. luciana with the five t's and then we heard right you know malcolm the person I was sitting next to during Malcolm's said, I really admire someone who can make a passionate plenary about grammar. So interesting. Yes. <laughs> oh, grammar. And, and it was. It yes, was fun. It was. And I love Barb's that I, you know, I referred to a few times in, in my own and the, and the points she made about you know, how, how we cope as teachers with all the regulations and things. Absolutely. And I love the panel, oh, right? With all the people who had, who had one T each and they're and kind of like the experts, right? And I also love seeing, frankly, a, a, a panel of five women moderated 
I did enjoyed that too. Yes, we enjoyed that. We have to say, right? Right? <laughs> we we know that most teachers are women, but to see people at the top who are also women, absolutely, is, yes. is yeah. nice. It's nice to see. And former chairs, I mean, yes. of Cecil Greece. Right, and, and these are the people who who created Cecil Greece. So. Absolutely. And we would like you to give us a wish. Yes. 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 Oh, future. keep on, keep on doing what you're doing, and may the next forty be just as good as the first forty. I think you seem like a very healthy, energetic organization that really cares about members, and just keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Very Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And for being here, it was a pleasure and a privilege, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.